Remember those four diagram levels? Let's take a look at each one using our seal track system. Level one is the system context diagram. It's our 10,000 foot view of our software system. Here we see seal track, the people who use it, researchers and seals, the physical tracking device and the external systems we integrate with. It's perfect for explaining your business context to anyone like business stakeholders, external partners, product people and new employees. Level two is the container diagram. This shows our deployable and or runnable objects like our mobile apps for fieldwork, the web dashboard for researchers, the API that connects them, and the tracking database. This is mainly for technical team members, like fellow architects and engineers, but some non-technical folks will gain value too, like product managers and business analysts for project planning. Level three is the component diagram. This shows the building blocks of our apps and stores. If we take a look inside our API, we see the main components, like the tracking module, the alert module, and the mapping module. This is designed for technical audiences, architects, tech leads, and developers. Non-technical folks don't need to see this. Level four is our code view. This shows the deeply technical view, like classes or database table design. We don't see most teams diagramming at this level, and we recommend most teams don't bother. Developers can just read the code, hopefully. You can also use IDEs to automate this view. It's mostly valuable for complex technical handovers when required. Then we have supplementary diagrams, like deployment diagrams for showing where software runs, and dynamic or flow diagrams for how data moves. Let's move on to keeping your diagrams useful. 